The German attacks on British airfields, begun on the 13th of August 1940, didn't have a very promising start, as bad weather and coordination problems saw relatively little damage done in the first few days. On the 16th of August, the bomber formations concentrated more on naval bases and radar stations, and it was near Southampton that the only Fighter Command VC would be one. Three Hurricanes of 249 Squadron, which would finish the war as the RAF's highest scoring fighter squadron, were jumped by a number of German fighters. All three Hurricanes were badly damaged. One pilot, Squadron Leader King, managed a forced landing and survived, while another, Flying Officer King, no relation, bailed out but was killed when gunners on the ground mistook him for an enemy and destroyed his parachute. The third man, and he was also the section leader, Flight Lieutenant James Nicholson, he had been slightly wounded by gunfire, but, like Flying Officer King, was also facing a burned cockpit as fuel leaked out of a damaged tank. As he got ready to bail out, a German fighter appeared in front of him. Finding it just too tempting a target, he got back into his seat, pursued it, and finally shot it down before jumping out of his burning hurricane. Just before hitting the ground, Flight Lieutenant Nicholson was wounded once again, this time by a shotgun blast fired by another overzealous home defenseman. The extra seconds spent in the cockpit had cost him pretty badly, and he was not expected to live more than a day. His hands had lost most of their flesh, with his left one curled up like a claw. Fortunately, he did survive, and even managed to get himself back on flight ops once his hands had sufficiently healed. He wanted, as he put it, to earn his VC, and he did see some more combat in Burma. His story doesn't end happily, though, as he disappeared over the Indian Ocean in a B-24 in May 1945, just before the war's end, not long after his own 28th birthday.